x-rays right now. Thank you. Just do the cleaning. Let's move on. I think the cleaning was like $250 plus. He is always talking about money. And while his creativity is for shit and his energy level is for shit because he doesn't care about what he produces, he is not as stupid as he looks. So when he's always talking about money in the context of I'm broke, I'm struggling, look what I have to pay for now, that sets the stage for him to say at the end, oh, thank you for your support. I really need the support to take money from people that he doesn't really be needing to ask for. Where do calories disappear to? Some people guess in your stool. Some people guess in your pee. Okay, Ken. Because it gets boring, right? So, um, drink, 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 donate. E beggar. Drink, boost hound. Drink, 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 donate. E beggar. Drink, boost hound. Drink, 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 donate. E beggar. Drink, uh, happy birthday, boost hound. Hack, e beggar. Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Gravy train. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a food channel that's running out of ideas. In the meantime, let's watch some TikTok. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian white guy. Hitler flap. Thank you very much. White guy. Because I'm white. So the Japanese are horrible people. If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> if I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. A British, a British, a British peanut. I have zero knowledge. I'm very uneducated. Is this your full-time job? Yes. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. Uh-huh. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. I only promote things that I like. The Jackery, the Jackery, the Jackery, the Jackery, the Jackery, my Jackery, the 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 Jackery's working its butt off. Blue Eddie, this thing is absolutely amazing. Call me a, a sellout. Screw off. Tangy, mmm, tangy, mmm, tangy, 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 tangy. I'm insane. Double, a double. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry? Medium Pepsi. There's a sign. There's a sign. There's a sign here saying turtles. Oh. <gasps> oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh no. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the wrapper. I know, I know. I want okay, to okay, see okay. it. Well, he wanted to eat this in the car. So, I think we could have, no? Mm-hmm. It would have rocked my car. Mm. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian Hitler flap. See what I mean? Hitler flap. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. The Chinese are horrible, so the Japanese are horrible people. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Beautiful, 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 beautiful looking lunch. You are good at describing food. You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. Oh, how else to fix this? You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. <laughs> This is the dumpster that we, your mom and I found you in. 
your real name was going to be called Waste Management. <laughs> yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. Fasting for about 20 hours a day. So, uh, today is the 11th of January, so we're on day 11 of the Descartes, of, 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 I can barely speak English, of the Descartes, of the carnivore diet, uh, and I've known I had, had, I've had a cavity to, I had, had, I've had a cavity to, I had, had, I've had a cavity to, I can barely speak English, I had, had, I've had a cavity to, cavities, now if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. With our Ken, the music never fits. It's always random. It, it's just weird. It doesn't match. He figures just, you know, put anything in here, and then it looks like you've created some original content. It's just right off the hop. The, he doesn't have a theme that he brings to the shack in the elf village. It's just random. Just grabs at anything. Terrible. Do you see that dander or dirt or whatever it is all over the cat's fur? Nothing against the cat, of course. It's just that Ken has too many animals and too many people in that shack in the elf village for too long. Like, when he had the two kids there, himself, Carol, all the animals, with all of that percolating in his horrible green carpet in the living room, and he doesn't change it. That's why now he's covering it up with that cardboard backdrop when he's over there, he's in the kitchen <laughs> with Carol shooting footage of him there. Oh well, there you are. Welcome to the President's Office of KBD Productions TV, where it's always very cool to leave booze bottles hanging around to show what a stud you are that you're getting drunk and hard liquor all the time. Um... Yeah, I know, it's just a junky room. Uh, the thing is, Ken is always saying KBD Productions TV like it is a real production company and it's just a guy eating chicken sandwiches and following trends. Please notice how slow, careful, and measured his movements are. Just like any other senior citizen, he's really afraid of having a fall. Of course, he's only 57, yet he's aged himself to appear to be 75, at least. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Wow. Yesterday was a good day. It's snowing right now. I'll do a quick little... Let me show you right now what it looks like. What I'm looking at right now. There we go. You can see the camera I'm shooting with there. But it is... Got that Christmas snow almost. I consider Christmas snow that really heavy... I guess when it's kind of humid out and you get that those big fluffy ones that turn right away into... Um, into that nice packed snow that you can make snowballs with. That's cool. Cheers. I've already had one glass. This is my second glass. I'm starting to count how many glasses of water I have per day because of my trainer. For what? So you can run in the marathon or compete in the Olympics? Like you are a rock star now? I have to hire a personal trainer. Let me make it 
easy for you. Walk away from eating junk food every week and pretty much put off indefinitely you hanging around in a fast food car park eating slop for 12 hours and then passing out from exhaustion in the hotel and then coming back later and pretending that you're sleeping there in the van. Walk away from all that stuff. You don't need it. There is a strange motivation that you've got because your delivery has got no energy. You just don't care. You don't want to interact with any of your audience that has a little bit of criticism for you. You're filled with bitterness. Whatever your motivations are, just drop this stuff because you're damaging your health by doing so. That's all you need. You don't need somebody telling, helping you to manage eating shit all the time while doing this channel, which is in the toilet compared to what it used to be. There. Done. And, uh, yeah, so she recommended six and a half glasses for my weight, age, and what I need to be. So I was slightly dehydrated not as dehydrated she said as most men that come in there so that was a good thing i have definitely been drinking my water just because of the fasting that i do i know i need to drink water and electrolytes no ken that is incorrect first you're not fasting you know we're midway through january 2024 so there's no way to pinpoint it exactly it was like early in the year um it's about four years steady of intermittent fasting, which you have been lying about. And thanks to the criticism that you get from reaction channels, now you say, oh, I was tampering with it. You haven't been doing it for four years. You would be in much better shape if you were intermittent fasting for the last four years. You eat several times a day. You eat throughout the middle of the day. You keep no schedule. And you do these giant pig outs on the regular. So... You're not doing this. And to say that you have to drink water and electrolytes, yes, taking the water makes sense. The electrolytes, no. Because when you have your one meal a day, everybody's like got no problem meeting the 500 milligram daily requirement. I don't know of anybody who's like, you know, suffering from a lack of salt. Those uh, salt drinks that you take are for athletes or for people who are totally into fitness and they're sweating too much. And we all know what it's for and you sit there and you speak lies such as that i need to drink electrolytes no you do not the shape that you're in and being middle-aged even though you look like you're 75 means you should be looking for ways to avoid sodium not taking in extra because i don't i usually only eat once a day or at least i'm t um difficult to keep the story straight when you're lying so often isn't it fasting for about 20 hours a day so uh today is the 11th of january so we're on day 11 of the decart of, 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 of the decart of I can barely speak english of the decart of the carnivore diet uh, yesterday morning, woke up, stood in the scale. That is not for real legit. If you wanted to do it for real, then it should have been done right from the start on live stream where you show all of you standing and what you're wearing. You could have things that are in your pockets that you're slowly taking them out of the pockets to produce that reading. It's such garbage. It's, it's just bogus material. I was 203.7 pounds and, uh... After I weighed myself, got my coffee, got my water, I started editing, edited the two vlogs that I put up yesterday. Thank you very much for everybody, uh, to everybody for watching those. I appreciate it. And uh, then I went to the dentist, had to be in Bradford uh, for 1230 and Carol needed to get some stuff done herself. So she said, let's go together. And so she just dropped me off at the dentist. The Ken material is already low energy and boring as he drags the camera with him and babbles while doing mundane chores. These sit-down talks, he's got the same low energy and what he talks about, you could pretty much put up the Senior Living Channel for, for this. It's, it's just that it's so much Senior Living Channel now that I have to wait for him to do something really 
super duper senior living channel to actually slow things down and and, and mess with the sound a little bit um it's it speaks for itself. You, you, you could put Senior Living Channel for the majority of this talk. It just If we run it at that speed, it'll be like two hours. They did a full cleaning. I have two cavities. Why is that funny? People who are younger get cavities. People who are older get cavities. So what? Uh, would you sit around and listen to people say to you that they have some work they got to get done at the dentist? You would say, I don't care, princess. Eat me. Pay me if you want me to listen to that stuff. And if you're going to pay me a lot because that's worthless garbage. That is the material that you're making. Uh, and I've known I had, had, I've had cavity two. I had, had, I've had cavity two. I had, had, I've had cavity two. I can barely speak English. I had, had, I've had cavity two cavities. I think one down here and one up here, something like that. And uh, they wanted to do them. I guess maybe last June or maybe in the summertime sometime. And I'm like, yeah, I just can't afford to do that right now. Remember Ken and his folksy stories? Well, he's got a folksy story right there. And that is meant to inspire sympathy and continued financial support over the AdSense that he gets. Because he's still getting thousands of views per. And believe me, I can tell from the peanuts that I get. For the few thousand that I get over a month, he's still making good money on YouTube. And for him to sit there and provide a folksy story which is false, that, oh, well, you know, now I gotta get some work done, I just couldn't afford it. Get the fuck out of here. This is such horseshit. He just bought, like, the Apple Watch, like, what was it? I don't know, like, what? It was, it was uh, several weeks ago, right? I can't remember exactly. So he gets the Apple Watch. He's talking about taking a giant cruise. And don't forget it with that fucking Sprinter. That was $40,000. Because when he told us about it, it was still on the dealership website. And then he spent thousands more, Carol's money, and they ruined it. It wasn't the project they were trying to do. The whole idea of Carol and Ken van life was a failure. And that's what rich people do. He, he can get his fucking teeth fixed whenever he wants. He had a v Invisalign done for fuck's sake. That ain't cheap. It, it, this is a character he's playing right now. You know, his material is weak. He's not very smart, yet he knows how to lie. He's not completely stupid. This is meant to inspire continued financial support. Oh, I, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> As if. Oh, uh. You know, if I was covered with insurance when Carol was working for the school board and when I was working for the school board, I'd be like, go for it. But when you have to pay out of your own pocket. Seriously, do your audience members know anything about adult life at all? Sitting there saying, well, you know, you gotta pay out of your own pocket. With the money that you and Carol have, you can easily afford your own private dental insurance every month. Easy peasy, no problem. And if y y your teeth are, are falling apart, okay, you make sure you, you both have coverage, you, it's all paid up. Or if you want to do pay as you go, I mean, either way. And like, Ken is about to tell us that, you know, it's a business. <laughs> yes, professionals need to get paid for what they do. Uh, whether it's uh, you know, the, 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 the private medical system in some parts of the world, or the, the government socialized in Canada, you know, the dental is a bit different. Uh, everybody's got to get paid for what they do, Ken. Uh, like, you used to offer free birthday messages on your channel, and now you charge for them. And you're lamenting, oh, you know, it's a business. Those dentists, they just want the money. It's all about getting the money from you. It is. Listening to Ken, you just get stupider all over the place. You're like, nah, I don't want to do that right now. Don't let dentists talk you into things that you might not need right now. So what you are saying is leave it alone because the dentists are trying to talk you into something like accessories on a car or something, which they're not, and you let it get worse so it becomes a whole lot more expensive and difficult to maintain. Yeah, that's what you say to fit in with your false narrative of you being fucking broke when you're loaded. What horrible content this is. So, they, they, they're always, not always pushing, but they're always like, 
Okay, let's do x-rays, blah, blah, blah. Our Ken is the sort of person who dismisses the opinions of others with a very curt blah, 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 blah. That's not the first time that he's done blah, 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 blah on his channel. What the dentists are trying to do is create a relationship with the patient and maintain things as best they can. That's why they want to get to you early and keep you coming back. It's not like some scam or something. They're, they're, they're trying to help. So it's not like uh, silliness. They're, uh... Ken, you're just so ridiculous. Well, how much does that cost? <laughs> when you have to pay for everything yourself, you're like, how much does that cost? And, uh... Great! And how much is it going to cost more if you don't get to it when advised to do so? Uh, they tell you, you're like, nah, nah, I don't want x-rays right now. Thank you. Just do the cleaning. Let's move on. I think the cleaning was like $250 plus. He is always talking about money. And while his creativity is for shit and his energy level is for shit because he doesn't care about what he produces, he's not as stupid as he looks. So when he's always talking about money in the context of I'm broke, I'm struggling, look what I have to pay for now, that sets the stage for him to say at the end, oh, thank you for your support. I really need the support to take money from people that he doesn't really be needing to ask for. Somewhere around that. And uh, then I think the, I think it was around that. I can't remember. And then each filling is like over $250. So pay for your adult responsibilities and shut the fuck up, please and thanks. What do you think? You're going to get a filling done for like $40 in the year 2024? Get lost. I'm like, if it, they had it their way, they would have done everything right there on the spot, I guess. And with you having it your way, you wasted well over $40,000 on a Sprinter for a silly reason and very recently got a redundant Apple Watch because you already have the latest Apple phone and you already had an Apple Watch. Then you regard dentists as being some sort of shysters. Oh, those dentists, they'll just take you to the cleaners if you let them. <laughs> Ken, please stop talking. Just fill yourself with chicken sandwiches and leave the talking to the side. And I'm like, no. No, let's just move on. <laughs> we'll get it done eventually. I know, the, the the I guess the longer you wait to get a filling done, the more damage it could possibly do. I don't know, I'm not a dentist. The answer you have for everything in life is, I don't know this because I'm not of that. I don't know this because I'm not of that. There is common sense, Ken, if you can work on it a little bit. And it doesn't stop you from giving out serious medical advice and advising people to take in far too much sodium as you pretend to be doing the carnivore diet and pretend to be doing intermittent fasting. So we get the worst of both worlds with your stupidity. Um, but they are a business and uh, they're there to make money and to help you. So it's a win-win situation, I guess. So it is with you as it is a business. Yet you produce shitty content and you get suckers to give you extra money by pretending to be broke. That's the big difference. They're offering a proper service of a professional nature and they should be paid for it while you pretend to be broke and lie about doing intermittent fasting and the carnivore diet and your weigh-ins are not for real and I can, oh, let's just let's get this one episode done. And if you have insurance, go for it. Yeah, fill them all. Just pull them all and put on the the, the drilled-in ones where they put those sockets in and you don't have to worry about it forever. Could you imagine being stuck across a dinner table from someone such as Ken Domic and having to listen to the horseshit conversation he produces? Um, so yesterday was the 10th. I burned, uh, sorry, I ate about 1,376 calories over the course of the day. Uh, well, not the course of the day, but pretty much. Um, so when we got back, from uh, the dentist. I got the live show all set up and played a little Minecraft while I was waiting. Ken, you are so cool. I don't even know what to say. And then I quickly ran to the kitchen, uh, had three eggs, which is 240 calories approximately, and then three bacon. That little bit of bacon right there provides more than enough sodium for the day. No salt drinks needed. Done. 420 calories approximately. 
Uh, and then I did the live show. Thank you to everyone for stopping by and doing the live show. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and talking about stuff. Uh, I look forward to it. No, what you were looking forward to is the money. If you were really looking forward to them, then you wouldn't be absent from them 25% of the time. And when you do miss one, you should be making it up the next day, maybe in two days. No, what you do is you blow it off for the whole week. See you next week, and then sometimes you don't even show up the next week. And if you're really looking forward to them, you wouldn't strictly limit them to one hour because they're not real parties. You are now playing the copyrighted music and dirty deleting them. So if the people who are paying to be channel members so they can comment miss it and they want to catch it later, it's gone. So you're doing a pretty shitty service to paying channel members, including myself too, because I pay the $5 a month just to check on what you are doing. And... You cut it off at one hour because that's it. You put in the bare minimum and you're out of there. So you're talking more horseshit yet again. Uh, because of those eight, because I hadn't eaten in 20 hours, uh, the three eggs, three bacon, and the butter. I forgot to put butter on there. Hmm. Let me add it right now because I will forget. And that will bump up my thing over 1,400 calories, I guess. Uh, butter... Uh, and I probably did the 15 grams, so I have to go back. I, as I'm learning the measurements and how many calories, I'm like making notes of them. So it's uh, 100, 105 calories for a, like a little half block of what I've probably showed you. Uh, 105, and then I'll add, whoops, where did I go? Okay, 105 plus 105 equals, so I did 1,480 calories yesterday. I'm glad I was talking to you guys. I was totally gapped on the, the what did I say? 1,481. 1,400. The Ken vlogs are always a blast. Where else are you gonna find a mumbling turtle willing to produce footage that runs for a quarter of an hour? 1,481, okay. So I did 1,481 calories yesterday. Uh, and then after the live show, um, I can't. I think when Carol and I were shopping at Costco, they had cans of crab meat, and I'm like, "Oh, that's good," and the price was good, and so I. Do you see how he's doing that all the time? While he may be stingy and he might like a good deal, even though he splurges on silly things, the fact of the matter is he doesn't have to worry about what food costs. Got, but got two cans because I'm always want. I want need. I need to try things all the time just to. Just to give me variations of dinners and things because it gets boring, right? So, um, so I bought two cans, opened one of them up last night. When I first opened it up, they're just beautiful little crab legs and and all that stuff on top. And I'm like, ooh, that's that's good. If, if I'm if they're if it's like that, I'm gonna buy these all the time. And then I then I read the label again. It says 15% crab legs. Hmm. And so when I dumped it into the bowl and lifted it up. It's like, like this much crab legs out of, you know, your typical like tuna tin. Uh, like literally they just put like a bunch of crab legs on top of muck, uh, like fishy stuff. It's not crab, it's probably fish. It is crab. They are crustaceans. It's not fish. It is crab and a lot of water and salt. You putts, stop talking, please and thanks. It's probably ground up um, fish bones and all that stuff. And they make like a, I don't know, a, the consistency was like, uh, my goodness. It almost looked like watered down cream of wheat or grits. That's what it kind of looked like. As I have said before, this channel is not about hating on Ken. It is a character study and an object lesson about what a pathetic youtuber is all about some guy who has lots of money and is always asking for extra money he even sends people right off this platform to another platform patreon you guys rock at the end of pretty much every video he does he wants you to take the money away from youtube and give it to patreon he should limit it to live streams to keep it on youtube to be good to youtube if he does anything entertaining enough to warrant them, there he is with a food channel, 57 years of age, and he cannot
discern what is going on with a can of crab meat. He's comparing it to cream of wheat. So now I'm going to do the extra work that he doesn't do. And he's going to get like a few thousand just sitting there babbling nonsense. Well, I'm going to have to do real work and I'll get like uh, 2,000 views. That's on his vlog channel. And this is my main channel. So please join the fucking channel, $1.99 a month. No contracts. You get the custom emojis. Sometimes we do an early release. Okay, here I go doing the extra work. Here we are at the company's official website. And the ingredients are as follows. Number one, crab meat. Number two, water. Number three, salt, also known as sodium. Then we have disodium phosphate, citric acid, sodium metabisulfite, calcium di... Sodium EDTA and the allergens are for crustaceans and sulfites, not any type of fish that's been added. Yes, Ken, it's crab meat and then a lot of water and a lot of salt and all the rest of the chemicals that makes it all soft and gooey. It's not made of wheat. And now for the nutritional information, we have the sodium is 350 milligrams per 55 grams of product. There's 170 undrained grams in there. And we don't think you've done the work to drain it. So once you do the math, each can has 1,081 milligrams of sodium in it. It's a lot of salt, which you never talk about. And you're taking in too much sodium. And never once have you ever warned anybody to go get your blood pressure checked before they keep following Ken Domic and his fucking terrible health advice. There. It doesn't have wheat in it, Ken. What an idiot. Okay, let's get back. There he is, our idiot, with more than 10 years straight with the Food Channel. And not only does he not know what he's talking about, he makes up stupid horseshit to add to his fucking ignorance. When... Having all the time and money that he's had for so long, he could have become a proper, real, legitimate chef just for shits and giggles to make his channel more interesting. And he doesn't learn, he has no interest in it at all. That's what a bad YouTuber is all about. Please, Ken, carry on. In the bottom of this tin. So just look, like they said, 15% crab legs. So I dumped that in, I'm like, that's not going to probably taste that great, but then I added a can of sardines, which is 210 calories. Oh yeah, the crab meat was 57 calories. Um, and then I put five anchovies on it, which was 38 calories, 39 calories. Never mind the calories. They're not important for this, especially for your gullible audience, which you are putting them to danger for by pushing this stupid fad diet without proper advice to go with it. When it comes to sodium, anchovies are the nuclear weapons of sodium. And here I go again, doing a lot more extra work to prove it. This is the brand, which is Alessia Filets of Anchovies. And the serving size is five filets. And um, so let's go down for that serving size of that brand. It'll just be a few seconds. There it is, sodium. Let's highlight it, sodium. And it is 1,050 milligrams of sodium for five of those anchovies. And that, of course, is more than one gram just for that. So, um, yeah, so let's bring it back up here. There you go. That's his brand. That's how many he had. And there you go. When our Ken is driving on the highway and taking his hands, sometimes both hands at the same time, off the wheel to talk with his hands while playing to the camera, I say that what he is doing shows he doesn't care about anybody else. And that was before he started offering this diet, which is just being done for clicks and money for the month of January because it's a trendy thing for him to get a hold of. 
Not once has he ever said to his audience, please get your blood pressure checked before you try any of this. And that really shows that he just doesn't care. And it's not just an insult for me to get laughs. This guy does not care if he harms others, which is really sad that he actually makes money doing it. Five Herring, I, uh, when Carol and I finished up at the dentist, we went over to No Frills, and uh, I saw that they had those big jars of pickled herring. Ken is about to say in an ASMR whisper, I love pickled herring. They are pickled. They are high in sodium too. He just keeps pushing high sodium levels to his silly and gullible audience. So I grabbed one of those jars to add to my fish bowl. You mean your sodium bowl, you irresponsible, dangerous fuck. Um, and then I added a tin of uh, mackerel. I wasn't going to do the mackerel at first because I added it all up and, uh, or I thought what I had there was enough for food for, t for the day. And then I realized it was kind of low. Uh, it was like just over, um, just over a thousand calories for the day. And need to be over 1200 right so uh, that's why i added the macro which is 300 calories so that's why i got the 1481 so i weighed myself this morning and i was 203.8 so i we are just about halfway through january 2024 with me not believing any of his weight loss stories or even where he says oh i went up by a little bit he never began the recording of the alleged weight loss in a legit way, which is he should have done it live while standing there, right where he is, right? Just clear away the bric a brac at the back and get that table out of the way and just stand there and wear the same clothes every time you weigh yourself and let that be the standard to go from. He didn't do that. He's not doing that now. For all we know, he just puts, you know, cookies in his pocket and takes them out and says oh look at the weight loss or he's just leaning on it we we have no legit footage with him doing a real weigh-in ever for this gained one tenth of a pound since yesterday even though i ate that whole big bowl of stuff plus the eggs and the bacon so you're you're losing what i heard it'd be interesting to know if you guys know this how do you lose calories where do the calories go let me, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee while you ponder where do calories go. I'm just going to touch the camera there, see what time we're at. Where do calories disappear to? Some people guess in your stool. In your stool. Some people guess in your pee. Okay, Ken, back in the day, it was possible for you to take a short drive to Bradford and get the latest sandwich at any one of the big chains and eat it on camera and publish it and get 400,000 views for it. Those days are years in the past and they're not coming back. So there you are, still indulging in fast food all the time and blaming it on your audience as if they have control over what you decide to eat with the energy of a dead battery lying at the bottom of a dumpster and you're sitting there in a shack talking about shit and piss just retire please and thanks some people guess in your sweat because it's got to go somewhere. But the answer is, from what I learned, is your breath. So all your calories. <laughs> go out your breath. That's why they say breathing is very important. Uh, walking is very important because you're just, you know, you're not, you're not exercising like crazy you're just walking and you're breathing and getting good fresh air in you and you're expelling all those calories out of your mouth um so uh that was an interesting thing i learned 
uh, maybe a year ago. And uh, so breathing is very important. just for getting rid of your calories. Um, I guess it's the exchange of the energy in your cells, which then turns into carbon monoxide, carbon, carbon monoxide, carbon, carbon monoxide, carbon, I can barely speak English, carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide, and then comes out your breath. So there you go. You learned something today. So today I'm going to be editing this video and getting it out to you as quickly as I can. Um, and then I'm probably going to shoot a food video at a restaurant. Um, and then I might be doing a stealth camp tonight. And then uh, I might be going for a hike with Paul uh, during the stealth camp. So there's a, all these kind of like little rules about my video. There are? Like what? I never eat breakfast. Then you eat giant breakfasts all the time. I'm doing intermittent fasting for the past four years and all the time you're eating all kinds of garbage throughout the day for 12 hours straight in a car park then pretending to sleep in the van. The only rules that you follow are to have no rules other than to lie when necessary to succeed with clicks and money. It was like when I do a 24 hour, you know, you know eating at Burger King for 24 hours uh, my rules back in the day were I have to stay on that property um, for 24 hours and then I started calling because that was when I called them living at um, of course Ken and if you don't follow those rules then the international YouTube police are going to come and get you and charge you with something right no Ken you can tell lies all you want it's not really a criminal offense to do so it's just immoral and sad to do it but now I call it eating at um... the big chains that footage demonstrates that you're not really doing the intermittent fasting that you say that you have been doing for the past four years so um say Burger King say Burger King come on again say Burger King Burger King or eating at Cracker Barrel for 24 hours so it doesn't mean I have to stay on that property for the 24 hours. It just means I have to eat there for 24 hours, which is good because then I can go for big walks. Tell me about it. <laughs> go for big walks and, and tour the area and, and discover new things and, and uh, just entertain my brain while you're stuck at a restaurant for 24 hours. So I changed that ruling. What you mean to say is you change that rule. If you say I change that ruling, that is something that a judge provides. He uh, delivers his ruling after a trial. Ken, you can't read, you can't write. And I got a feeling that you, you know, you can't really... What am I trying to say here? I can barely speak English. That was it. Please, continue babbling, you sodium-filled turtle. Um, in my head, this is, these are my rules. This is my channel, so... So did everybody hear that? Ken's channel, Ken's Rules, which includes doing dangerous terms of service breaking, binge drinking with hard liquor for money. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. We drink booze. We drink booze. We drink booze. Those were pretty lucrative because many of us sat through them and Ken could collect around $400 in a night while breaking terms of service abusing himself with alcohol for money, then he would just dirty delete them, laugh, and walk away. However, after we properly criticized him for so long, he hasn't done one for the better part of a year. However, now, after refusing to do his live streams to keep his obligations to people who are paying to be channel members, he hasn't been doing them for quite a while regularly, missing them about 25% of the time, now he does them fairly regularly, only now he plays copyrighted hit music through the whole thing, so it feels like a party and it's more entertaining because he can't entertain on his own. And then he dirty deletes them, because it's against terms of service. And 
the people who are paying to be his members don't get to access them after the fact because they're gone. That is how he does business around here. And you know what? When it comes to telling the truth, Ken can lie all he wants to because on an entertainment channel, it's not a criminal offense. He can lie and make up anything he wants. I can make up anything I want. Exactly. Thank you for that, Ken. Sometimes you make it too easy. Of course, there are times when you can't make up whatever you want because you're not creating any original ideas yourself except for telling original lies. On the other hand, you have to follow the creative ideas of other people when you're following someone else's creative ideas. Right, Ken? Right? Uh, unless I'm following somebody else's M.O. and then I have to kind of stick to their rules. Yeah. So, when I came in here, it was because I had heard it was an easy way to make lots of money fast. This is a business. With cat videos, so I shot footage and made my own cat videos and I didn't get a million dollars and now what do I do? So then I tried the eating fast food in your car thing which was a fad and it worked and all I had to do was drive a few minutes to Bradford and eat a sandwich and I got 400,000 views and tons of money in my bank account and then the fad dried up, right? And then I found out about this van life camping thing and so I, I'm not into that kind of shit. I just, you know, sit in the shack in the Elf Village with my gear and I like to drink and and so I, I, I tried to finagle it with, you know, Carol and, you know, she got all this money and she's retired and I was talking into her getting a really tricked out ride from the hitch house. It was going to be like almost a quarter million dollars and we we're going to make a lot of money and they didn't have one available, so we got the $40,000 Sprinter, and then I needed a logo, and so I totally ripped off somebody else's logo, and just, you know, follow what other people are doing to get some easy, fast money, and then nobody cared about it, and my audience rejected it, and they said, we're only going to pay attention to you if you eat fast food all the time, and I already said I don't want to do them anymore, and I just don't want to do them anymore. I just don't want to do them anymore. You know, so now it's January 2024 and there's this fad diet going on and I just have to follow everybody else's ideas for easy money and I just want my money from you people. And so, you know, when I have to follow other people's uh, original projects, it gets to be a drag because, you know, I don't have anything original to bring of my own. Uh, but these are my rules. I'm I'm sleeping in restaurant parking lots and eating their food. So that's uh, the rules. No. What you are doing is pretending to do stealth camps in the parking lots of restaurants because it's a hot trend. And just like the eating shit in your car trend can still be done if you evolve and put some work into it. Some people are still making money with it. The way you approach YouTube is to get some fast, easy money. When you came here with the cat videos, you can do these silly cat videos and you get a million bucks and you did it and it didn't work that way. So what can I do now? It's, uh, eat shit in the car? Hot trend? It worked. So good for you then. Now it's dried up because you don't put the work in and you gave up after CraveCon. So when it comes to you, there are no rules because you're a liar. That is possible for me to say because you took this channel down with false copyright strikes and you swore in writing that you were bringing lawsuits and you never did. So you damaged the channel, caused us a lot of work over here. You're a liar. So when it comes to liars such as Ken Domic, there are no rules. You just lie and make it up as you go along, trying to cash in on hot trends. You don't bring any original work to the table. And because you can barely speak English, you won't even say there are no rules. You'll say it, there is no rules. There is no rules. I can barely speak English. There is no rules. It's just fun stuff. When you do it, it's just lying stuff that you steal from other real creators. So, yeah, people have been begging for another 24-hour stealth camp. I don't think 
So, and again, there's a difference between 24-hour stealth camping and stealth camping. And stealth camping for real, which you do not do. So when I did a stealth camp at the police station, I tried to get there as late as I could and then tried to leave in the morning as early as I could. And that's, that's kind of an MO of most stealth camps. Uh, you're trying to, you want to get into a location as late as you can, sleep, and then leave as early as you can. So the people that live in their cars and need to stealth camp, uh, that's, a, that's pretty much the rules they try to follow. Try not to make any noise, try not to leave any garbage. The garbage that you leave is published on your channel. Uh, you basically are parking in an area where you technically shouldn't be really sleeping in your car, but you don't make anybody know that you're sleeping in your car. That's why you park as late as possible. Nobody's around. Get your sleep in. Get up as early as possible. Leave before anybody notices you're really there. But if you park there for like three days, people are going to know you're sleeping in your car because they'll notice you leaving and coming and going, right? So with you, we don't have that problem because after you've taken your phony establishing shots, you're off to the hotel. Or if it's close enough, you're right back to the shack in the old village and then you come back later and pretend. Anyway, so I got lots to do today. Uh, I just wanted to catch you guys up on what I did yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if I talked about, you know, how much I weighed the day before. I just want to make sure I'm uh, catching you guys up. Where's my f photos? Yeah, so I did all that stuff. Um, oh, and I met London, who was the girl who told me to go to the Three Scoops uh, restaurant that one time. So she recognized me in town, and uh, so we got a picture together, and Carol's like, that's it, I'm not going shopping with you anymore. <laughs> it was funny. She goes, oh. It was, it was a good, good, good meeting up. London was a, a very nice lady. Um, let's see what else. Well, I'm taking the supplement Super 45 Plus, uh, and it is was recommended to me by um, my trainer, who's helping me out with my weight and fat and all that stuff. And approving of all the tons of sodium that you are taking in. Strange how your trainer doesn't want to have all the free publicity of being on the Ken Domic Big Channel, huh? Is there even really a trainer at all? I think I forgot to show you guys that. Oh, I also need to get windshield wipers for uh, Rusty. Our Ken is delivering this boring talk with no energy. If he was doing it with energy, then it would just be stupid and boring. Yet, he's not even trying to sell it. And he holds a picture of the windshield wipers that he has to get for his prop vehicle. Uh. I have to get windshield wipers for Rusty. So, as long as he does that, I will remind him and the rest of us here that if you approach Ken and said, Uh, I gotta buy wipers for my vehicle, uh, he would say, What the fuck do I care? Eat me, princess. Fuck off. So, that's the response that we give to Ken here. Oh, my camera went dark again because we are over. How much time? 14 minutes. Okay. Gotta hurry up. So I gotta get wipers for Rusty because they are making lots of noise, as you may have noticed. Right. So yeah, the, the day before I was uh, 204.8. So I, I'm losing weight still. Uh, plateaued between yesterday and today. Didn't do a walk yesterday. It would have definitely bumped it down if I had gone for a walk. But I also didn't eat a whole lot of calories. So it kind of equaled out. Anyway, um, how many steps did I do? Because going into town sometimes, Wednesday I did, so I burned 208 calories for the whole day, which isn't good, and I only did like 1,500 steps. So I only walked like 1.15 kilometers. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I have got a very busy day today. Tell me about it! <laughs> and uh, so look forward to the vlog tomorrow. And uh, we'll talk to you then. Talk to you. Bye. Is that it? That's it. British penis. <laughs> double, double. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. Tangy.